Hello, and welcome to the beginner's guide on how to start creating pixel art in Paint.net. Today, you will learn the basics of the interface, controls, and then end on creating the plane sprite from the game River Raid. So let's get into it with the interface. To the top left, there's the toolbox, and this is how you'll access all the tools that you'll be using. Under that is the color palette, and this allows you to set colors that you want to use. Right here are the primary and secondary colors, and you can switch them by clicking on this drop down menu or by clicking on the swap icon. Down here is the default color palette and above that are these two buttons. If you really like a color and want to keep it, you can click this button and it will add it to the color palette. This button allows you to save or open or reset the color palette. If you click on this more button, this just simply gives you more options to better precise the color that you want. For example, you are able to change the hue, the saturation, and the color value through this menu. To the top right, there's the history panel, and this keeps track of everything that you do, and these buttons down here allow you to undo and redo the things that you've done. Below that is the layer panel, and this allows you to add, delete, or merge layers. But if you are creating individual sprites, then you won't be able to, you won't be using like this very often. <laughs> um, all these panels are non-static, so that means you can just move them around to better customize uh, your interface and to just better suit your workflow. Personally, I really like this color panel to the right side. Now say that you delete a panel and you want it back. So we're going to delete, I don't know, the toolbox and the color palette. Um, you can do that by clicking on, uh, if you go to the top right, you can see these icons up here. And if you click on, if you click on them, they will uh, give you the windows back. By default, paint.net might default to a light theme, and we can change that by going to the top right corner and clicking on the gear icon. And uh, in the user interface tab, and in the user, and like below in the color scheme, you can click on this drop down menu and click and uh, change the theme. I personally really like the dark theme here. Just click on close. And uh, so when you start up paint.net, it will give you this blank canvas and you can view all the files that you're working on uh, at the top and to delete it and to delete like a file that you're using or that you're on, <laughs> uh, simply just hover over the icon or uh, over the canvas that you're on and click the close button. And don't save. To create a new canvas, you can do this a couple different ways. You can click file and then new or you can click on this paper icon. For today, we'll be creating a sprite on a 16 by 16 canvas. So make sure to uncheck the maintain aspect ratio and change the values of the width and height to 16. So we're going to change that. So width and height are 16 and then click OK. So as you can see, the canvas is super small and we can zoom in on it in a couple of, of ways. If you go down to the bottom right, you can change the magnifying slider to zoom in. Or if you hold down control and uh, the scroll wheel, you can zoom in that way. To move the canvas around, Hold the space bar and then cl left click to move the canvas. You can also move up and down by using the scroll wheel or left and right by holding down shift and scroll wheel. Now by default you might not have this grid on but it, for pixel art, having a grid makes it easier to design your pixel art. And you can turn on the grid, or turn off or on the grid, by going up to the top here and clicking this button. So now we have no grid, and now we have a grid. 
If you like to be a little bit more precise, having a ruler is a good tool and to ha like a good tool to have. Uh, you can turn on a ruler by clicking the ruler button next to the grid button. And now you have a ruler. Uh, the ruler is measured in pixels, and if you want to change the measurement, you can go down to the bottom right where it says PX and uh, click on the drop down menu, and you can change it to inches or centimeters. Down here is also where you can check the, the size of your canvas and uh, where the current uh, and the current uh, mouse cursor coordinate. Now before we start drawing our sprite, most of the time artists sometimes like to use reference images to help them. Uh, to import an image, you could either go to File, then Open, or uh, you can click on this folder icon. So I'm just going to import this uh, just River Raid uh, sprite sheet. You can zoom in on it. This is what we want. Uh, but as you can see, the image will import into its own separate canvas. Now it's always good. It's always a good practice to save often, uh, and you can do that by pressing either this floppy disk icon right here, or uh, by doing Control S and you can save it. So I'm just going to save it as um, just plain sprite. And I'm just going to save it in the PNG format. Save. And then it's going to just um, go into a save configuration and uh, you don't really have to mess with any of the settings. Uh, just hit OK. So now that we have a reference image, we can start drawing our sprite. Uh, and so say I um, say I like this really I like this color in my reference image and I want to get that exact color uh, So I'm just gonna grab this yellow uh, If to do that go to your toolbox and click on the color picker and Then um, you can click on the color that you want and as you can see it changes it in the color panel And now we have that exact yellow uh, from this reference image and we can go back here and now we want to draw now by default it's going to give you this paintbrush. You don't you don't want to use this paintbrush. Okay, you can see it kind of just paints that. Um, you can undo by pressing Control Z. And you can see in your history panel all the stuff that you've done. Um, and you can redo, undo, all that stuff. Um, but you want to go to this pencil tool, and now you can click on uh, the pixels individually. So now, um, it's also also good to go back to your reference image and get the, the size of the thing that you want. Uh, for example, this River Raid plane is 14 pixels wide and 13 pixels in height. So we can use that to, to draw on this canvas. And so I'm just going to start out by drawing the, the fin here on the back. Okay, so now we have our sprite. So, uh, so we've completed our sprite, um, and by default, the background color is white. And if you were to just import this into a game engine or like a photo editor, the background will always be there. And making it transparent is super easy. Uh, so go over your toolbox and click on the magic wand tool, and then uh, select the background. Now, as you can see, it highlights it. And so we're just going to delete, uh, so press delete on your keyboard. And now you can see it's transparent. So also, another thing that we, that we want to do is that this image is a little bit off. It's a little bit to the right, and we say we want it to be more towards the middle. We can do that by selecting it and moving it. So go to your toolbox and click, the, click on the select tool, or the, the rectangle select. And then we can drag that and select it and then go back to your toolbox and click on move selected pixels and so it grabs it and you can just simply just move it and we'll just have it like that and to get out of this just hit escape uh, yeah hit the escape button on your keyboard 
Now the image is a little small, and we can we can resize it. Because uh, if we were to go back to our default, right? If we go to 100. You can see you can barely see the plane. But say we want to like we're gonna we want to make it bigger. So we can go up to image and click on resize. And it brings up this resize panel here. And now by by default, it's going to be set to best quality. Um, and I have it to nearest neighbor, but I'll show you why. Uh, I'll show you why it's set to nearest neighbor. So if we do by absolute size, and then we uh, click on maintain aspect ratio, and then we can change the size. So now you can see we're going to change it to 64 by 64. And if we were to hit OK. You can now see it doesn't look that good. Um, the plane looks it just doesn't look good. <laughs> um, so we're going to undo that. Now it's back to normal. And then we're going to go back to image, resize, change it to nearest neighbor. I'm not entirely sure why it's called nearest neighbor, so, but <laughs> you see why we use it in a second. If we were to change it back to 64 that we want it and hit OK, you can see it now just makes it look it doesn't bleed or make like a doesn't bleed into the edges at all. Um, so now we have a clean, crisp image, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you have <laughs> you have successfully created your first sprite, and I, I hope that this tutorial was helpful in getting you started on how to create pixel art. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know by posting it in the comments section below. And uh, thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.